joined in studio right now by a member of the college football playoffs, Michigan State Spartan, Brian Lewerke, former Pinnacle High School alum quarterback. Brian, it's great to see you again. You look a little bit older, a yeah. little bit more mature. College has done well by you, hasn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good. You know, I've put on about 15 or 20 pounds since the summer, just lifting and all that. So I've definitely, I feel like I've bulked up a little more and learned a lot from uh, the experiences so far. So it's been a good, uh, good six months so far. Let's talk about Connor Cook a little bit. This is a guy that first round draft grades mm -hmm. in the NFL, probably a fantastic guy to learn from. Oh, definitely. I mean, um, he's always a guy that knows all the stuff in the meetings room. He can even take over for Coach Salem sometimes. Um, so it's definitely been good to learn from him. If I have any questions, he's like definitely willing to be able to answer your questions. He'll go out of his way to make sure that uh, the younger guys know what they're doing. And Coach D'Antonio, what kind of a person has he been in your life and the offensive coaches? How have you felt your game has improved in this year, even though there hasn't been any game action? Yeah, I think um, Coach, Coach D is a great guy. Um, he, when my dad had some health problems, he, was, he allowed me to come back home and come see him, which was really awesome. So he, he shows that he cares about the family. Um, but I mean, just their offense, um, what he's teaching and all that, I think I've learned a lot just from even working the scout team, which is what I've mainly been doing. Um, I've just been able to, you know, peek in and learn as much as I can from the offense when I'm able to. You're taking a red shirt, but they still dressed you out in a lot of games. And there was one game, though, that you almost, like, could have saw some action, and mm -hmm. you took some first-team reps in practice. That week has to have been very good for you for your development going forward. Yeah, definitely. Back when uh, Connor hurt his shoulder a little bit, they uh, kind of told me that um, I, I have to be ready to play. Probably, I mean, the chances that I actually would have played were very small, but um, I was able to take you know, some, some reps with the actual team, um, being able to learn their offense uh, back from when I learned it in camp. So I was able to apply what I learned and show the coaches that I'm ready for uh, spring, spring ball. So Connor's going to be off to the NFL after the season. Mm -hmm. You guys have, you have some quarterbacks in front of you that have age on you, but what, what are some of the goals here? You're, you're not writing yourself off as a chance to start next season. You're going to compete for that job. What are the things that you feel you need to accomplish to put yourself in that best position? You know, yeah, I mean, obviously being able to uh, play is one of my main goals for next year. And I think one thing I just need to do is um, talk to Coach Salem if I have any questions. Coach Salem is our, is our offensive coordinator, or quarterbacks coach. So talk to him if, if I have any questions about anything. Um, learn as much as I can, watch as much film as I can. Make sure I know the offense um, so I'm prepared for when I have to show it to the coaches. That's Brian Lewerke, the former Pinnacle High School quarterback, now at Michigan State. The Spartans are in the college football playoff, and hey, he could play at University of Phoenix Stadium. How funny would that be coming back home for a chance to win a national championship? Again, thanks, Brian. Yep. Jared Cohen with Sports360AZ.com.